This is RegistredNurseRN.com, and today we're going to take a look at Nurse Midwives. Now, Nurse Midwife is an advanced practice nurse who receives specialized training to help care for mothers and their babies. It's a very popular area of nursing. It does require an advanced degree. And in this video, we're just going to go through some of the basics. I'll go real quickly over the history. We'll talk about what a certified nurse midwife does daily, how to become a certified nurse midwife, how to study for the exam, and then some salary and job outlook information. So first of all, what's the history? Well, it wasn't officially established until the early 1920s here in the U.S., and nurse midwives have always been around, you know, historically, if you think of, you know, even hundreds or thousands of years ago, whenever women would bear children, they would almost always have what we would call now a midwife there to kind of help deliver the baby, someone who's usually had children before, and they would just assist with the birthing process. But it wasn't an official profession until the 1920s when, you know, here in America, mortality rates were increasing, and there was, we began to realize there was a need for someone officially in the nursing profession to help uh, try to get things under control. So the Maternity Center Association was established, and they wanted to find an excellent model for maternal and infant care. So what they did was they looked to professionals outside of the United States who displayed excellent material child health records to help provide an organization with a model that they could use uh, in establishing an organization. And the nurse midwife was the prominent figure used in other countries. And the discovery was the answer to America's problem with maternal child health issues. And they used uh, the midwives in other countries to establish a model for it here in the United States. And a pioneer nurse named Mary Breckenridge created the Frontier Nursing Service in Kentucky around the same time the MCA began its quest to solve the health care problem with children. And isolated areas such as the Appalachian Mountains were out of reach for proper nursing care, and the FNS provided these families with health services by providing them with public health nurses who were sent into those areas on horseback. And the early nurse midwives would provide nursing care in many different, different settings, and they helped to solve the growing mortality rate problem. And Breckenridge traveled to England and France for a first-hand experience with maternity care. And by 1929, she convinced a few British nurse midwives to come to America to practice the specialized area of nursing. And they contributed immensely to help with the mortality rates and all the problems that they were facing at the time. And for more than 70 years now, nurse midwives have provided their services in the United States. The first school to offer nurse midwife training was established in the late 1920s at the Maternity Center Association, and that first class graduated in 1933. And so it has an interesting history there. What is a nurse midwife? Okay, well, as we said before, it's an advanced practice nurse who receives special training and education in midwifery. And these health care providers provide medical care for women and their babies who are considered healthy and not big high risks. Uh, the individuals can prescribe treatments, medications, diagnostic and therapeutic measures, and medical devices in all states. The scope of their practice will vary depending on the state laws. So, you know, every state, like we talk about with register any kind of nursing, really, the State Board of Nursing will set forth the scope and specific laws of how what they can do within their practice. So, um, but basically, the basic scope of their practice includes caring for females from puberty through menopause, including care for newborns, intrapartum, postpartum, and antepartum, and non-surgical gynecological care. In certain cases, certified nurse midwives provide care for male patients in relation to reproductive health and sexually transmitted diseases of their female partners. And many women enjoy the benefit of having a nurse midwife in attendance through their high-risk pregnancies. You know, as we said, they typically don't care for women who are at high risk during pregnancies, but sometimes they will be requested and they can work alongside a patient's doctor to assist them with some uh, with, uh, with those high-risk pregnancies. And again, they can collaborate with gynecologists, obstetricians, and so forth to provide assistance for women with complex medical histories. Okay, so how do you become a nurse midwife? Well, first of all, you're going to need a bachelor's degree before you enter a nurse midwife program. And if you have an associate's degree in nursing, you can always go back to school for your BSN. But if you're going for any kind of higher level of education in nursing, such as nurse practitioner or CRNA or nurse midwife, we always recommend people go straight for the bachelor's degree so that you won't have to worry about meeting those extra requirements. You won't have to go back to school and so forth. 
it is a master's degree program to become a midwife, so you know usually it's about two to three years for most of the midwife programs. And you're going to have to meet all the requirements before you attend to that program, such as you know a BSN degree, like we said before, and you probably already have to be licensed, so you're going to have to take the NCLEX in your state and become licensed as a registered nurse. And a lot of states will require that you have one to two years of experience as a nurse in the workforce before you're accepted into a master's degree program. So that's the general requirements before you go. And you can check with the American College of Nurse Midwives for the state requirements if you want more information on that. And when you complete the program for nurse midwives and you graduate, then you will take a certification examination. And the American Midwifery Certification Board is one of the most notable certifying bodies for the certified nurse midwife credential. The North American Registry of Midwives is another popular one. So there are a couple different uh, credentialing bodies there. And again, you'll have to take the certification examination. And once you pass that and you've met all the educational requirements, and then you'll become licensed as a midwife. So uh, just a brief tip, though, when you're studying for the Certified Nurse Midwife exam, you will want to, we recommend, get a study guide for that. And there are you know, a couple different study guides out there for that, and you can look on Amazon.com and other places. But uh, we always recommend that anyone getting ready to take an NCLEX or any state boards test, that you do get a study guide. A lot of times they'll have questions. Sometimes they even have software applications to help you practice. So that helps out. Okay, what about the employment setting for a certified nurse midwives? Well, they provide childbirth and women's health care for those who lack proper health care services. They may practice in military, public, university, and private hospitals. Additionally, they can work in their own private practices, uh, birth centers, health maintenance organizations, and public health clinics. Uh, many, nurse, no, excuse me, many nurse midwives also have the opportunity to work in international health programs to assist with improving the health of babies and mothers around the world. Since nurse midwives have such a broad range of settings in which they can practice, there will continue to be a pretty good growth and high demand for this profession. So it's an interesting area to get into. And a diverse group of people make up the certified nurse profession. The skill set that these individuals have are as diverse as their backgrounds. A lot of different people from a lot of different you know, cultures become nurse midwives. It's very fascinating the way that they can interact. Nearly 95% of nurse midwives attend hospital birthing, and many hospitals across the country are beginning to offer midwifery practices to their patients who want that personalized attention that midwives can offer. And the great thing about choosing the hospital as the birthing area is that there's an access to medication if the healthcare provider needs a medical intervention during the uh, birth. So that's makes it a little safer for both the midwife and the patient when they do it in a hospital setting like that. Home births and birthing centers are other environments in which the midwives can work. And the nurse midwives are more flexible and they offer highly personalized experiences for their patients. A lot of people really enjoy having that nurse midwife as opposed to just going into a hospital and having some, you know, strange stranger they never met before you know, operating and working with them. It helps sometimes to build that relationship through their pregnancy and makes them feel a little bit more comfortable when it comes time to deliver. <coughs> Excuse me. The certified nurse midwife salary, how much are you going to earn? Well, since it's a, an advanced degree, you can expect to earn a little higher than just a baseline registered nurse. The uh, median annual salary for certified nurse midwives in the United States is about $90,000. So, Again, a very good income. The lowest 10 to 20 percent earned about 76,000. So on the low end, you're probably looking at about 70, maybe 70 to 75,000. You know, if you're in a smaller town and you're brand new with no experience, you might make you know 65 to 70,000 starting out. The middle 50 percent salary earners earned about 83 to 98,000. So if you get a little bit of experience, or if you work in a moderately populated area, you could probably pull in about eighty-three to ninety-eight thousand. The top seventy-five to ninety percent earn between ninety-eight thousand and a hundred and five thousand. So, you know, you gain experience if you work in a highly populated area where there's strong demand for it, you can pull in a very impressive salary with this. 
And again, it works out great because a lot of nurses really like dealing with pregnancies and birth. It tends to be one of the most populated areas in nursing with very low turnover rates. They don't usually like to leave their jobs. So um, let's see here. And previous work experience will affect your salary tremendously. So if you, you have the potential to make well over 80000 a year if you have at least five years of work experience in this. So again, once you get in there, once you get your foot in the door, you gain some experience, you can see salary increases over time. Okay, so what's the job outlook? This is the last part of this video. It's a very promising future. The nursing profession has some of the best opportunities for those who want to become nurses or advance their career. Over the next decade, positions for certified nurse midwives are expected to grow faster than the average of all other professions. Over a 20% increase is expected in this area. So, again, a very great area to look at if you're interested in an advanced practice area of nursing. It's in high demand because they can perform many of the tasks that a doctor performs because they do have that master's level education. Very highly trained and skilled individuals. And so, you know, again, it's just a great job outlook. And if you're interested in nursing at all, we advise you to stop by our website. It's registerednursrn.com. We have a lot of information. We put out videos and articles on salary information, nursing specialties, different degree types. We have free care plan examples and a lot of tips for nursing students as well. So whether you're a nurse or whether you're just interested in becoming a nurse, we invite you to stop by our website. And you can also consider subscribing to our YouTube videos and checking out some of the other videos we've put out. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.